Hi, I'm Scav, and I'm an architecture critic. Welcome to The Extra Office, a channel where I do architecture critiques of video games. If you want to join me live, please find my Twitch below. And to support my endeavors, please find me on Patreon, which is also linked below. Let's get started. Here, ooh. I love looking at this place from the from the sky. It's really it's really interesting. Flotilla flyer. Let's try to get let's go gas station first so that I can go in there with some equipment because this looks daunting. Um, so they put the looks like they got the tape modern. There's some I'm gonna say they look these warehouses look English. I love this gas station. Really thick boy. Really heavy. Uh, really heavy roof um it looks almost like it wants to be masonry but it's clearly i guess a poured concrete uh roof here are these horrible light fixtures just three of them so that's pretty nasty really stout i i actually love this proportion from this view right here that's pretty tight that's like a shoe that's pretty nice that's like a shoe so there's some things that are good the, the equipment up top yup uh, these weird like fenced in backyards, I, rear areas, it's, that's always, it's always confused me a little bit about the game. Like what exactly they're basing those off of. Like maybe if they were more in a city, but you don't really see gas stations with like, these fenced off areas, maybe with some like propane in it. But um, the flow chart diagram in this room is okay. I mean, you get, you walk in midway I, I mean the entrance to the building is in the right spot right um oh realistically though it looks like you could fit two more pumps if you were to move yeah i i like this better if if this were moved to here and we had like access to two pumps and the cars could go on either side so you had four f four pumps in total um rather than with the sidewalk, because this feels like too too big of a space. Oh, nice. We're in the uh, we're in the circle. That's good. I like the storefront windows, the infill. I like the masonry. Oh, it's kind of an issue here. <laughs> Would you need vents for this thing? Would you need a vent? Is that what that's supposed to be? A vent? Well, either way, it comes over the column here, and that's no good. Or at least the it comes it comes over the metal column covering, or the uh, the brick column covering. Soda fountain. All right. All right. So let's see what we got. Soda. You got your magazines. You got your pop and snacks. Some essentials. All right. The, uh, that looks good. It's like a little convenience store. That looks good. I like the Googie sign too. Yeah. Nice gas station actually. Dang. Look at that view too. Ooh. That's quite nice. Yeah. This is, uh, this is, this means what this means. It, okay, so if we're to take this seriously, what this means is that the, the vents uh, actually do go all the way through and that this brick stops right there because the brick isn't the structure. It's a brick veneer, uh, but that the structure is inside of this brick uh, is metal so that there's a there's actual steel inside that's supporting this poured concrete structure and that this brick is just... Uh, just ends right there fuck it guys i want to see this stuff yeah this reminds me of like airfield architecture like like in i don't know why i'm getting such an english countryside uh airfield impression like like world war ii like um because it's ah woo! we got one guys we survived one um they're really beautiful though look at the light in here this is nice. Someday this bridge would make a great artist's loft when it when this property um, <laughs> when this property gets gentrified in the game. <laughs> it will. It will. It will. All right. So let's tuck away and check out the cabin in in the woods. A nice little log cabin. Right. Um, since it's a log cabin, everything's got to be logs. Um, let's take a look at this here log cabin. I like oh 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 it got all dark sorry I can't I can't change the weather here but oh my first of all what are these I'm just saying if you've got the logs for this like look at how beautiful this is this is really nice a, a nice detail if you've got the logs for that what what is this what 
is that? These are just too straight. You know what I mean? They kind of, uh, they kind of look too much, like too perfect. They're not uh, f uh, fantastical enough. I think to complement the rest of the project because this is so nicely done. I mean, look at this. Look at that. It's perfect. So I would have liked something a fantastical, a little more f fantasy. Oh my goodness. Someone's coming at me. Oh! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. They've got the all the nice weapons. Oh my gosh. I was really, I really liked that building. Let's see if this one's up to snuff. Let's see if this, okay, okay. We're gonna actually try to do good. Like this, this building is very different for this, this house is uh, super different from the last one. Um, at least on the, on the outside. Uh, what? Oh, terrible choice. What is this light? Come on. You've got all the other things. I, I, this house, this is clearly a fake, right? This house is a, this, this house has this, this, um, this fake basement and all that stuff. And it's actually right. Okay. This makes sense now. It has a giveaway, right? This house is a fake is fake because, and there's a, a giveaway, um, that it's a stand in. It's a secret base. Wow, my my bunker was way better than this. That's embarrassing. Ah! <laughs> gotcha first. <laughs> um, oh my goodness, there's so much weird shit. Uh, let's go to Misty Meadows again. Some of these, some of these projects, some of these buildings. Um, I'm really a big fan of that one. Right there. Cat, oh, I've been here. We we can um, let's. I mean, not that having been here is all that bad, but um, I'm going to need a weapon if I'm going to do any more architecture reviews. <sighs> my like my least favorite gun. Okay, this building is really cute. Oh, it's got a little loft. Um, okay, bear with me. Before I build in there to get that, this is nice. The there's a dock. This is a nice little dock building. Uh, uh, a, a nice little diptych out front. Um, a diptych organization, which is which is cool. And I, I like how the the project creates a pass through. Uh, that pass through is actually not just for. Um, actually, yeah, this is for people, boats. And it's also protected, which is good because there might be a waiting area. I don't like that the building can't be accessed from here. I think that actually here would be a nice, like this would make a nice transfer window. Um, but pretty hefty structure going on here and some wood. I dig it. Ooh, that downspout. Oh, and well, here you go. Um, you wouldn't have two downspouts because this is going to be angled one direction so you just need the one and usually you don't want to just chop them off but they follow the building and go onto the ground or even in the ground but it's okay to chop them off like that but you're going to get like water just sort of pouring down this is a kind of weird detail joint up there too so yeah weird to have yeah you wouldn't have two downspouts i'm sure it's the same on this side one I like that the downspout on this side would go into the water, though. <laughs> but um, that's actually not great because if it's runoff from a building, then it's probably going to pick up oils and such from material. And you don't actually want that then running off into the water. You want to, that to go to a treatment. So anyway, I also don't love that. Like, why are the windows suddenly white? painted i mean look all i'm just saying if you're gonna do like literally every inch of the place out of wood just make them out of wood and what is this a little like house a little like uh maybe you like keep warm here you can like warm up while you fish or something leave me alone people um let's head to this island to continue our review and to stay in the uh in the circle here um hmm 
Okay, well, there's not much here to talk about. It's a nice space created by the shade of the trees and space created by the campfire. Let's go one more. There's looks like there's some more structure and there's just like a kind of shed there. We were talking about, you know, Rainer, um, I was talking about Rainer Bantam last night in class and um, uh, Pevsner infamously wrote that there's only, there's two things, architecture and not architecture. Cathedrals are architecture and bicycle sheds are not architecture. And Rainer Bantam was um, adamant that uh, that that is incorrect. Stop shooting me. This is kind of weird. Like, there's no, there's absolutely no embracing its sight here. Like these two tiny windows. Um, I don't like this. Oh, why is there a garage? Okay, the garage door is only because. Oh, god, dang it! Would you just? Oh, oh, that hurt. That hurt, actually. That hurt. I'm going to, um... Um, it doesn't really embrace the site, even though being in here, I feel pretty connected. I mean, there are lots of... There are a decent amount of windows, but I'm... I'm suspect. I like the kitchen. No, okay. You want your... This is the incorrect placement. This is incorrect. This The sink... The sink should be in front of the window. The stove should be here because the stove wants to vent and needs a hood anyway. Um, and it's a very, um, I don't know, it's been a very kind of common trope of modernism to have a sink with a view. Maybe blame Corbusier, uh, but, um, and and his and the infatuation with cleanliness and um, whiteness actually as architecture. Um, but uh, more importantly, uh, plaster. A lot of conversations that I can bring to. Oh, yes. OK, we need this med kit. <gasps> oh, I love this. What is this little guy? Taco stand. Oh, this is cute. This is like gen gentr like, I don't know. This looks this looks like gentrified tacos. Uh, now, these colors are too generic to look even gentrified. Look at this. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Yo, look at this. Look at the how fucking hardcore that can take. That can hold some water. Those are some drains, baby. Damn. Damn. There's meanwhile, there's like gunfire going off all over all around me. I'm 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 running. I'm not I'm not engaging. Oh, yeah. The, the colors of that taco joint didn't look like um. Do you know what I mean by the, the kind of colors that it would be if it was like um they'd be more muted if if it were if it were actually um gentrified tacos. So it looked it looked more like a taco stand at like a like an amusement park or something. Got um All right. So this is a type of architectural space inside of Fortnite, right? Uh somehow I can be completely hidden, which is which is crazy. I wonder what it looks like in there, you know? Like, let's draw a section. Right, here's our section. How thick How thick do you think that is? Do you think it goes all the way up? Do you think there's a reinforcement? Do you think it's just a heavy bit? Uh, and, and it's sort of stacked? What's giving it the kind of interior space that allows to hide in here? Do you think it's warm? Do you think it smells? Mm -hmm. Where's the door? How do I get it in and out? It's a haystack, right? So I imagine it's got a very pungent smell. It's a it's a trope, right? Um, do, can people really hide in haystacks? Are haystacks like a real thing? You don't. Oh, oh, they're gonna hate this. Oh, there's the other person. There's only three people left. I'm gonna bop. I'm gonna pop out of here and shoot them. I'm really sorry about that. Oh, they're from behind. Ha! <laughs> oh no. Here we go, everybody. Let's get one more. Yeah! Thanks for listening. Of course, please like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this. Comment down below what game you think I should do next. Come find me on Patreon to support my work and see me live on Twitch to join in the fun. See you next time.